what are they suing me for? What are they suing me for? Dee Dee is suing me for sitting there talking about me and also for sending me fucking dumb songs at three in the morning. Sit on it and rotate. Oh, not big enough for you. Sit on it and rotate. Yeah, I seen your Mr. Handy in your fucking bag of toys, bitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need to walk away. I need to walk away. Here we go again. It seems on, or should I rather say, in the early morning hours of June 16th, 2022, Foodie Beauty has played herself again. She decided to show the receipts of her sending 500 buckles to Nader El Shami. Okay, my checking number. Who's that? Nader, it says bad or email, but Nader El Shami. $500. I don't know, it's blurry, but notify recipient El Shami Nader at Outlook.com. 500 email May 27th accepted auto deposit confirmation number, bitch. What? Who's a liar? Who's a liar? Hmm? when in reality the receipt just shows how basic she really is because why would you repeatedly send money to a guy who is abusive in many ways physically mentally to a guy who decided to try and what do substance with you the first or second night you ever saw him to a guy who's repeatedly shown you his true colors over and over and over again and you keep going back then you're done then you keep going back then you're done then you keep going back then you're done so is foodie beauty finally done this time well i do not know but it seems the fighting has been ongoing for quite some time the longest i believe it has now do you think this is fake is this fake? Is this real? Is this mostly real with some fake or is this mostly fake with some real? I keep asking that question because you got to keep that in the back of your head when you are viewing this stuff. So, of course, Nader El Shami was on again. And, of course, they're saying certain things that trigger foodie beauty, such as lawsuits. Can't say the L word, the lawsuits, because they will trigger foodie beauty and that's exactly what happened she got triggered and i'm pretty sure Didi and nader both know that this will trigger her of course because it always does and it seems Didi and both nader are gonna sue foodie beauty i guess Didi first Didi really wants to and foodie beauty responded with a rage as usual now also keep in the back of your mind that Nader and Didi really want Foodie Beauty to rage to say certain things that she shouldn't be saying on a live stream and get herself in trouble. No, I'm not watching him. I don't care what he has to say, actually. I'm closing the window. I don't give a fuck. Him and Didi have a nice life. I'll, don't talk. If you talk about me tomorrow, receipts up the fucking arsehole are coming out. You're an idiot. You're really stupid. Try me. Because I can destroy you the right way. With the law. He's such a liar. He's so along the lines that he's never taken money from you. Okay. Also, really, Foodie Beauty, you're showing a receipt of you giving $500 to a guy that doesn't deserve it. You're showing a receipt which actually just shows how once again, basic you are, how foolish you are in so many ways to be given this man money. He does not deserve that $500 could have fed a lot of people in and around your city. Like, think about that. How far can $500 go to a soup kitchen or shelter for women 
children who have been bruised and battered but yet it's going into the pockets or rather say out of the pockets quickly of a man who is all about smoking a pack of cigarettes a day is all about substances it's all about living a life where he basically gets to eat whatever he wants without merit because does this man really have a real place to live a place of his own a place that he's paid for nope does he pay for his own food nope but yet he is living a better life than i am and i'm not even hating i'm just you know saying that he isn't living a life with merit the merit of using your your hands your two hands your two feet to create a life for yourself so with Foodie Booty saying all these things, ranging off as usual, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that, she's only playing herself by constantly giving this man money. I seen him be like, I seen Dee Dee and her fucking ugly eyebrows. I'm finished with you, honey. Honey. Have, this is really going to help your fucking, how's your harassment case going, doo-doo? Bring it on, bitch. Bring it on. And him? All I had to hear was, are you fucking kidding me? This guy is going to say he never even had feelings for me? Mm. I wish I could call in and do that Q&A. I want to ask them some questions. Maybe we should ask. They're suing me this month. They're suing me this month. They're so full of shit. They smell and look like shit. You're full of shit. You know you have nothing. Now you're just mad that you have to live with Dee Dee, who was kicking you out two weeks ago, and now you have to suck her fucking ass and her fucking twat just to live there. Huh, Broccoli Boy? You better shut your fucking mouth about me. Do not talk about me anymore. You or your fucking blonde bimbo fucking ugly ass bitch. If you ever open your mouth about me again, I will fucking... Oh, don't even work. Just do it. Do it. Talk about me tomorrow. Talk about me tomorrow. You or dig. <sighs> and I'm not sure if she's giving him money after May 27th. Who knows? But at least we know that May 27th, he did get $500 from her. And hey, he he's, he's gaslights her. He tells her things that she wants to hear. That's his ankle. That's his grip. That's his scam. And he keeps getting away with it. Now, the other thing I wanted to bring up is she talked about Mr. Handy, which if you don't know what that is, well, it's the Handy and I will put in a video about that now. What are they suing me for? What are they suing me for? Dee Dee is suing me for sitting there talking about me and also for sending me fucking dumb songs at three in the morning. Sit on it and rotate. Oh, not big enough for you. Sit on it and rotate. Yeah, I seen your Mr. Handy in your fucking bag of toys, bitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need to walk away. I need to walk away. Wow. Okay, so this is what is in the bag of tricks of... Did I say bag of tricks? I meant bag of tricks of DD Lulu, allegedly, supposedly. I mean, okay, do you, TD? If you wanna, if you wanna do that, if you wanna swing, if you wanna do whatever, be poly, if you wanna swap, if you wanna, hey, do you? I'm not hating. I'm just explaining. That is all I'm doing. Anyways, we shall see what's in store for Nadel Shami, DD, and Foodie Beauty alike. Maybe another day of marathon streaming as usual. Because it seems that's all she likes to do these days is fly into a rager, stream, 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 from day until night, stream, 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 over and over and over. And people, they, you can't keep up. How can you literally keep up with this? You just can't because I'm even having a hard time keeping up. And I'm typically keeping up with a lot of things. So I know for the average person who might have half an hour, an hour, maybe an hour and a half a day to really watch, look at, get information about whatever their interests are, it's actually going to be pretty hard because Foodie Beauty is streaming too much, Natter is streaming too much, and it's just so hard to catch up. They're going to burn out their audience. 
But hey, that's not my problem. I can react to other people. And Foodie Beauty seems to have health problems catching up to her. The diabetes, maybe, probably. Maybe it's the withdrawals. Who knows? But once I know for sure, I will be keeping all of you lovely people updated on this situation. Other than that, that's it for me. Thank you for watching slash listening to this video. And please leave me a comment if you want to. Smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you later. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.